Learning more about the fatal stabbing of a Pentagon police officer. The attack happened at the building's transportation center Tuesday. It turns out the suspect, who's now dead, was out on bail from Cobb County, Georgia. He faced a series of charges, including two counts of aggravated battery on a police officer. Tom Rousey has more. New information from the FBI this afternoon. They say suspect Austin Lands of Georgia got off the bus and immediately stabbed Officer George Gonzalez in a completely unprovoked attack. ABC News sources say he stabbed him in the back of the head and then took Officer Gonzalez's gun and shot at the officer with it. Lands then shot himself, and sources say it's unclear if he died from that or gunshots from other police officers. Gonzalez was an Army veteran who received multiple medals, including a commendation medal for service in Iraq. The Pentagon Force Protection Agency describes the Brooklyn native as well-liked and well-respected among his colleagues. The loss of one of our protectors is good. It makes my heart break. Those who frequent the Pentagon are stunned by what happened to one of the officers who keep the world's largest office building safe. The resulting investigation has closed the normally busy bus area. And Metro trains are passing through the Pentagon station without stopping. Glenn Crise often gets off there for meetings at the Pentagon. I typically, from my office in Crystal City, take the Metro. Today, he and others instead took shuttle buses between the Pentagon and Pentagon City, where the Metro station is open. Also, Metro and other buses that normally stop at the closed Pentagon bus bay area are stopping here instead. Today, with it being closed, we, we had to come over to the Pentagon City Mall and I realized I don't know my bus number. <laughs> Metro and other transit workers are on hand to help. Legion Baseball continues for two local teams with a trip to a big tournament on the line. Beth is